Hey guys, snowed all day here today in Colorado. You can see it's still snowing just a little bit right now. I'm going to come out here and do a little night shoveling. Get some really warm clothes on and come out here and shovel a little bit. I love playing in the snow. And uh, tonight I want to do it in the dark. So pure and undisturbed. So beautiful. Okay, so I did the front yard and the front drive. Since this all slopes towards the house, I like to shovel it. And uh, one day we're going to maybe try to make some kind of a retaining wall kind of further up not on this side here but further up maybe i'll try to do some kind of a water system over here like what they got right there but they didn't really they didn't do a real good job of it, it just kind of runs to the side of the house uh and that one doesn't that one actually doesn't run anywhere it just catches i think but there's another one right here. And that one just runs to the side of the house. But maybe one day I'll do a, a full one. As well as the retaining wall. It's funny because you have all of these thoughts about what you want to do with the house. And it's like um, each thought is a couple grand. <laughs> and that's doing it myself. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. So, got all that shoveled. And I'm if, uh, if this venue, video continues, I'm going to be trying to fix a fuse in my... In my wife's car. I guess we'll call it my wife's car. <laughs> it's the car that I uh, I got for trade for painting my mom's house. But it that became my wife's car when she got in her accident. So um, hopefully I'll be getting my new car pretty soon. But yeah, if this video does continue, it will be uh, trying to fix the fuse in her car. I gotta First I gotta see if I can find the fuses. That's uh, two minutes of just looking at snow and me rambling. Uh, you're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're in the van. And, uh, ooh, I think that's them right there. Awesome. So assuming it's miniatures, we're going to be fine. Okay. Sorry, I've been shoveling. Let's go check the car and see if we can figure it out. I'm doing this now because it's something that needs done right away, hopefully. And uh, I might forget. I also have a million other things to do. And sometimes it's just like uh, you just got to get things done when you have the time. And right now I have my son in his room going to bed and the wife's reading him a story. And it just works out really well, right? Uh, also, I happen to... I get a second wind at night all the time. Kind of ticks my wife off. Eventually, she'll, we'll have our bedroom finished and it won't bother her as much, but <laughs> right now it does. Anyways, let's go check it out and see if we can fix the Honda. Okay, guys, so this is going to be a little difficult because the one of the things that's wrong is the dome lights. Uh, but... I think we'll get it. Where is the book? It's uh, not the book.
I'm going to shut you guys off while I look for the book. Okay, so here's the fuse panel down to the lower left-hand side of the steering wheel. Um, can't find the book, so I'm going to go inside and look for it a little more. And if I can't find it, we're going to do the how to do it without the book. Okay, so I got the computer out here with me. You don't need to really see that clearly. Get my wife's Starbucks cups out of the way. $10 coffees. Okay, uh... So, let's see. So, I got the computer out here, and I got this, and I'm gonna try to see if, uh... This stuff matches up to what I got on the computer. And I'll bring you back. There, It does look like... I think I might have already found one. It's called the... It's in the book it says clock, but it has like 10 different things hooked to it, which sounds like kind of what might be going on. My wife said that the brights aren't working, the fog lights aren't working, these aren't working, the defrost buttons aren't working, however, this one still is, um, and the blinkers aren't working. So, yeah, sure hope it's a fuse. <laughs> All okay, right. So I do think I have the right diagram, and it's because uh, it's uh, matching up with the seven point five ten ten, and so going left to right, right there seven point five ten, and then that next ten, the third, the third over second ten, on the top is the one that I think it is. So that's the one that says clock, and I'll tell you now what all it says it does. And it probably does more than what it says it does. And I don't know if you can see here, so I'll probably show you on the computer inside with a screen share. But for now, I'm just going to tell you. So, it says that it... Well, I'll point at the screen, but... Uh, oh, you can kind of see it. So, BCM, clock, front monitor, smart key module. Also, yeah, the smart key's not working. Um, audio, power outside mirror... Overhead console, console lamp, which would make sense, right? That's one of the things that I know is wrong right now. So, yeah, I mean, it's not everything on there, but let's... At least one of the things is on there, and that's a, a pretty large list right there. So, we're going to try that one. I realize that this is going to be a pretty rough video. <laughs> Because I'm doing it at night, and I'm not, I'm not, you're not on a tripod, and it'd be pretty hard to get you on a tripod even if I wanted to. There's a 10, that red one right there. You know, you buy these kits for like $20, and you're like, oh, I'm never going to use all these. But luckily, the second time you need one, it's worth it, right? <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that pack was 20 bucks. Okay, so I got a, a red one and then I got the fuse puller, which you just uh, grab right there with that guy and pull. And then this one is to put it in. You just put it in there and you push. So I'm going to put my fuse right there. Right there, hiding in that nasty little thing that needs cleaned. All right, then we're gonna come in here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep be able to get you guys on this. Uh, we'll see. Pretty sure if I turn you around to the front camera, I don't have a flashlight, which was one of the things that I did not when I got this phone. This phone was much better than the old one, but that was one thing I was not happy about. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't even think I can get this thing in there. Let's see here. I don't even think you can grab it with this thing the way how far in there it is. But I'm going to see. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like so far in there, I don't think 
You can even get the teeth on these things. That sucks. Okay. So I'm just going to try to pull it by hand. All right. I might have to go get like a small screwdriver. You know what I always like about projects like this is how you end up with like 30 things out to do the simplest project in the world. Uh, yeah, I love it. As you can tell, this is a pretty important little plastic thing. It's got the small screwdriver flatheads and the silicone grease. Whew, that's an important box right there. And this one's just got some other, it's got like the hooks. That's why I brought this one. It's also important, look, hooks and a screen tool. That one's important too. These are some important containers. Uh, let's get all three of you hooks, okay. Oh, and a Nerf dart. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Now, we're looking at this sucker again. Gotta open the door here because I can't really, I'm too big. Okay. I'm trying to get that one. Okay, how am I going to get you guys? Uh, come on, baby. Focus for me. Stop trying to look at my hand and look over here. That'll get you to stay focused. Plus, I'm actually using you. You're my, you're my eyes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got her. She fell out. Where'd she go? Oh, I hope she's still in here. I need to check her. Oh, no. Tell me that's what that one's supposed to look like. Is that what that fuse is supposed to look like? It doesn't even have, like, real blades on it. What kind of gibberish is this? Ugh. <sighs> Fuck it. Please don't tell me. Okay, well, let me examine. I'm going to shut you guys off, because I, I'm, right now I'm just trying to use the flashlight. Okay, guys, so I pulled another fuse just to check to see if that's actually what the fuse looks like where where the red one go i wanted to know what i wanted to know was had the blades broken off or is that actually what the fuse looks like and that's actually what the fuse looks like looks like it seems so uh yeah great uh, i gotta figure out i'm gonna have to get some new fuses so now the 20 dollars i spent on that fuse kit is still a bust <laughs> all right uh what a day what a day what a day what a day if things were easy well then they'd be easy guys and that's not allowed anyways okay come on zoom oh my dear lord camera serious Anyways, it looks like that is what the fuses are like. I guess I could go ahead and pull one more. I'll pull one more just to make sure I didn't bust off two. Oh, I ain't getting no younger. Oh, got her. 
Okay, that's definitely what they look like. That's a weird fuse, if you ask me. Oh, I should check it since I got it out anyways, because the one that I pulled didn't look like it was blown. The 10, I mean. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I do kind of want to know which one's bad. And this one does not look bad. Even though this is the one I thought it was going to be. So I'm prob probably going to go ahead and play musical fuses and start pulling them all out. See if I can find which one's bad. And then, uh, and then at least I'm halfway done with the job. I obviously need to go get this fancy kind of fuse, but uh, I'll be halfway done with the job. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start playing musical fuses, and I'll bring you guys back when I've found it, since it's so hard to uh, show you why I do it.